Welcome to the speedy quick run through of Gory's Guest. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a frame using our pen around the square piece of paper, about a quarter inch in. Next, we're going to find a spot a little above halfway and a little to the left, and that is where we're going to draw our eyes. Now, after you draw your eyes, I want you to look in those eyes and see who that creature is. Use your pencil and draw lightly. When you have the basics of your guest, you can add some details like a suitcase, maybe your guest has a guest, and when it's pretty good but you haven't done all the little details, you can start going over in pen. Two tips. One is erase the pencil lines that you don't want before you start in with pen so that you don't accidentally make them permanent. And two, very fresh pen ink can smear, so start erasing somewhere other than where you just drew. Next, we're going to add our gory-esque journal entry. First, in the kind of upper right-hand side of the paper, we're going to write a time like a month of the year or a day of the week. And then we'll underline it. And underneath, we'll go a bulleted points. And these bullet points do not need to make sense, but they should be gory style, a little spooky, a little quirky. Now let's add a little bit of hatching and cross hatching in the corners of our paper. Gives it a little bit of a creepy look and also a gory-esque look. If you like, you can make a spider web in a corner. I also like to use little lines to add some curvature or some shading to our work. Notice that there are some curved lines around our little guy's waist or his shirt. That makes him look a little more rounded. Now let's sign with our anagram style name. So what you can do is use a scrap of paper to write the letters of your name, kind of spread out is nice, and then Mix them up and see if you can make some new words and a new name. I like to cross out the letters as I use them. For a simpler solution for younger kids, you can just write your names backwards or you can just swap the first letter of your first and last name. Now we're going to add some shading with our gray alcohol marker. Think about where shadows would be, like under your chin or under a belly or along one side more than the other. If the sun is hitting the right side, you'll have more of a shadow on the left side. So use that brush-tipped marker to add some shading to your art. One of the very best things about this project is the chance to use your imagination. So go ahead and add some extra details that bring your scene to life. Maybe a piece of clothing like a scarf, a belt, a tie, or some glasses. You could add flies or a moon. You could add patterns to the clothing, a mustache, whiskers, horns, you name it. Make your picture special. If you have time, this is optional. You can add some color as well. Just think about some highlighting color, not coloring in the entire picture. Again, use your brush tip alcohol marker. Feel free to fuss and add some more details if you like, but basically you are done. I hope you had fun.